Now, CNews contacted the vice chairman of the Tunapuna Pianco Regional Corporation, Esmond Ford, to respond to the issue. He says he's aware of the mosquito problem. Mr. Ford says the corporation met with the Insect Vector Control Division last Thursday, and a schedule will be done to determine when the areas will be sprayed, as they have been receiving reports even before the chikungunya virus for mosquito spraying. As it pertains to the drains, Mr. Ford says the council of the area, Ishwar Mutu, has to visit the area to determine what needs to be done on the drain to stop the problem. Seniors tried calling Mr. Mutu, but our calls went unanswered. A tour of the Port of Spain Immigration Division office yesterday and announcements of urgent plans to address the employees' issues have brought some relief to hundreds of customers, but not in the south office in San Fernando. People looking for their travel documents were turned away. Seniors visited the office on Knox Street and found out why. Sherilyn Lewis has more bit of improvement at the immigration office in Port of Spain, but not in South. The immigration division staff at the South office stayed away from work until their issues are addressed. Persons who had business to conduct at the San Fernando immigration office were asked to return another day or go to another branch, as this man explained. I was uh, had an appointment for today, I had an application. But what someone inside says is that um, they're only given out passports. What I have to do is call the appointment centre and schedule an appointment either for Sandy Grandi, point four ten Oshaganos. This woman said she had to collect a passport and was told it was not ready. Since the end of May, all we did was um, came and asked for a passport, a renewal of the passports. And that was in May. We are now in July. Right, and I mean, although they had a little thing for a couple, two weeks or whatever it is, it wasn't all that bad because, I mean, we had to wait anyway. But now we're in July, from end of May to July, and nothing yet. On Monday, speaking to the media after touring the Port of Spain Immigration Office, Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Dr. Rudan Mulilal said he had asked for a list of problems. Um, we understand in San Fernando, the workers are not uh, at work at this time. We are hoping that good sense will prevail. Um, if we have a list of some of the issues in San Fernando, we'll be happy to take a look to see what we can do to bring uh, immediate relief as well. Sherilyn Lewis.